Good morning, Trojans. Today is Monday, October 11th, and we hope you all had a great weekend. Congrats on making it through the first grading period. We have one more day until fall break. It's going to be a great week. This year, Speech News is doing something different. We have our first CBT correspondent, Brian G. He will be here to highlight what the CBT class is up to throughout the year. Check out his first segment where he helps introduce us to the kids of CBT. Hey guys, so today we're going to be meeting the kids of the CBT class and we have our special speech news correspondent, Brian Green, who's going to help introduce them. Let's go. What's your name? Brian. Why are you playing with them? Basketball and swimming. You like basketball and swimming? Thank you, Lane. It was nice to meet you. Okay, let's go this way, BG. Let's talk to JJ. What's your name? Uh, my name is JJ. Why are you playing with them today? I feel as good at dodgeball. You're good at dodgeball? That's awesome, JJ. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Do something. <laughs> All right, cutie pies up next. I think we can do this. What's your name? Jacob. What's your favorite thing to do? Um, I like to dance. You like to dance? And listen to music? That's awesome. Thank you, Jacob. Hey, Destiny. Hi. Okay, you go, BG. What's your name? A Destiny. What's your favorite thing to do? Talk to me. You like to do TikTok? Yes. Yes? Are you a TikTok queen? Yes. Yes? I like your hat. Thank you. All right, BG. What's your name? Sheila Springer. What are you like to do? I'm a great singer. You like to sing? Please be our buddy. No talking. Thanks, Brian. That was amazing. It was great to meet all of them, and we're looking forward to the fun things that Best Buddies has planned for the year. Another organization we'll be highlighting this year is Key Club. If you're interested in being more involved at school or in your community, check out this interview. Hey, y'all. It's Melissa Mitchell, and I'm here as your 2021-2022 Key Club Media Officer to tell you what Key Club is and how to join. Key Club is a service-based organization here at Ash, and we are ready to serve our community, but we need your help. We do service projects such as hosting spelling bees and reading books to our kids from our feeder elementaries here in Alexandria. You can join by joining the Google Classroom posted behind me or go see Ms. Wester, our sponsor, in room 46. We hope to see you soon. Thanks, Melissa. You can always email or talk to Ms. Wester if you have any questions or want to join the club. Hey, Amelia, are you tired of leaving class to go get water? Yes, all the time. Luckily, the Environmental Club is selling wa water bottles, so make sure to go buy one to help out the club. Here's AJ to talk about the Environmental Club fundraiser and what they do in the club. Hi guys, my name is Andrew. I am the president of the Environmental Club. I'm just here to quick let you know that we are selling ash water bottles. It will be $7 and we're selling them at both fun shifts between the stairs. The money will go to a ash garden, which will be used to raise money for the school. Thank you. Thanks, AJ. And make sure to buy a water bottle to help out the Environmental Club. Transitioning now to sports, our football team is off to a great start. And this week, we will be highlighting our team's kicker. Ava has been our starting kicker for three years now. And with our rival game coming up this week against Pineville, we thought it would be a good time to highlight a less known position on the team. Jackson has an interview with Abel to tell us more. Hey guys, I'm here today with the man, the myth, the legend, Abel Peterman. So uh, Abel, tell us a little about yourself, what grade are you in, what do you do here at Ash, and uh, yeah. I've been kicking at Ash for four years and uh, I'm the kicker and the punter for Ash. So Abel, how did you become the kicker for the football team? Well an old man dragged me out there because he saw that I was, uh, I was playing soccer and I was bombing it way over the goal like I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> so he thought I had a leg. So you didn't originally start out just kicking field goals? No, I played soccer for 13 years. So a lot of people think the kicker isn't as important as say the quarterback or the defensive players. What do you have to say about that? Well, I mean, the game could come down to three points. And on kickoff, you know, field positioning is everything. Gotcha, gotcha. So the next game's against Pineville. They have a girl kicker this year. How do you feel about that? 
I think it's unheard of and it's a step in the right direction. So one last question, just tell us what it's been like with the football team for these past four years. What are the good memories? It's been, it's been great, you know, beating Zachary last year, that was, that was amazing. That was probably the best moment of my football career here. Uh, it really can't be that hard to kick a field goal, so we're about to find out. All right, here we go. Oh, no. So Abel's going to show us how it's really done. Thanks, Abel. Lots of respect for the kicker position and all you do. And nice try on the field goal, Jackson. And finally, it's time for our teacher shout out of the week. Ash is so lucky to have so many great teachers. This week, we highlight a teacher in the social studies department. Here's more about her. This week, we shout out Miss Wesley. In addition to sponsoring the Educators Rising Club, she teaches AP Psychology and World History. Here's what students have to say about her. She always helps us learn the tough content. It becomes easier after a while. She always makes us laugh and is a great teacher. She definitely deserves a shout out. Miss Wesley works hard and deserves to be awarded for it. She cares so much about her students and does whatever she can to help them and make them smile. She goes above and beyond the teaching process, never fails to give an interesting story, and always listens to your problems no matter how small they seem. Having world history with her is awesome. She's funny and kind, and her room is always comfortable. She is the greatest teacher in the history of the world. If school would be the NFL, she would be Drew Brees because she is the greatest but doesn't get the recognition she deserves. Thanks so much for making Ash a better place. We love you. Don't forget, you can fill out a teacher shout out form located in your Google Classroom. Speaking of all the great things Miss Wesley does, she is also planning another school trip overseas and you're all invited. This time it's a trip to England and Ireland. There will be an informational meeting for all those interested. Here she is to tell us more. Hey Trojans, are you ready to travel? This summer, we are gonna be able to go to Greece and Italy for the first time. Ash is traveling internationally in over 20 years. Um, so we've had a little bit of delay, as you can assume why, um, but we are going to Greece and Italy this summer, 2022. Um, if you're interested in that trip, you can email me. But today we are promoting our summer 2023 trip, which is to, drum roll, England and Ireland. So we are gonna have an, meeting on October 26th at 6 o'clock. So you'll see around the school um, some uh, QR codes that you can scan to RSVP to that meeting. It's really important to RSVP because it will make you eligible to win a $300 scholarship to go towards your trip. So uh, get your parents to RSVP on October 26th at 6 p.m. in the cafeteria and let's go travel. Thanks, Ms. Wesley. Don't forget, the informational meeting will be on Tuesday, October 26th if you're interested in the trip and learning more. That's it for our show this week. Let's beat Pine Bell and go Trojans! Trojans.